Hey, what's up, good stewards? I am back with another video, and today we are talking about two types of savings accounts. Of course, you and I, we want to be better stewards over our money, and one of the key aspects to financial freedom is saving. So join me on the other side, and let's talk about these two accounts. up family happy financial freedom friday i know you guys are excited about the weekend just as i am hopefully you have something fun planned to do before we go any further i have to let you know that this video is brought to you by to be a good steward online store where we have featured our 2024 personalized budget journal and this journal comes with four different cover options and when you purchase this journal you do have the option of purchasing the cash wallet if you've watched my good steward budget thursday you see that i do use this cash wallet a lot and so i have to not only rave on the personalized budget journal but this cash wallet has really helped me in my financial freedom journey also on our website you have the saved t-shirts romans 10 and 9 if you confess with your mouth believe in your heart that jesus died and rose on the third day you too can be saved so this shirts come this shirt comes in all sizes and different colors so yes check us out i'll uh, put the link below you can order your personalized budget journal with your cash wallet or you can order your saved t-shirts or you can order both. But I want to thank you guys so much for your support. That means a lot to me and the To Be A Good Steward family. All right. So what's the two savings accounts that we're talking about? We have the traditional savings account and then we have the high yield savings known as HYSA. The biggest difference between the two accounts is that the interest that you earn on them. So with the traditional savings accounts, this is with your local bank branches such as Truist, Wells Fargo, um, let's see, your Bank of America, all of the local branches, uh, all of the local banks that have a brick and mortar that's in your city, um, you know, that's on every corner. Those are your traditional uh, banks that have the, the, I'm sorry, those are your banks that have the traditional savings accounts versus the HYSA. Those are pretty much banks that operate online, like your Capital One, your American Savings, Synchrony Bank, and so much more. Now, with the traditional bank, the interest can start anywhere from 0.01% versus the high yield savings, that starts off at about 4%, which is a big, big difference. Now, the only thing is, is that with the high yield savings account, since it's online, you can't walk into the local branch. So most people, when they uh, open a high yield savings account, they'll get a debit card connected to it. So with the traditional bank, uh, the with the oh, let me get it right the bank with the traditional savings accounts of course you can walk in they're open pretty much bankers hours and on Saturday so you can go in and you can withdraw the money um, from a service rep or you know use your debit card so with me here is what I have done with the HYSA. I don't have a debit, a, a debit card, and this is what I also teach my clients, but I'll get a little bit more into that. Give me just a second. So with the traditional savings account and the high yield savings account, each bank requires a minimum balance for you to um, open the account. So everyone is different. So when you go out and you do your research, they can let you know how much it takes for you to open up an account with them. And 
that's pretty much the biggest difference between the two. One, you know, you have the greater interest on the high yield savings. And then two, with the high yield savings account, you really don't have the brick and mortars in your city. They just operate online. And I actually use both of them. So this is what I tell my clients when we're going through the coaching sessions and I'm telling them about uh, the two accounts and the reason why they want to have two accounts. So with the high yield savings, this is for the money you want to save long term, like your freedom fund, your uh, three to 12 months of living expenses. You want to keep that over into the high yield savings because there you earn a higher interest and you don't plan on touching that money anytime soon. So I'm afraid if you have access to the debit card, you know, we'll find reasons to go and pull the money out. Um, oh, I got to go to brunch. Oh, I don't have enough in, in my local account. Let me go to my high yield savings. And there we go. We go put that debit card into the ATM and we'll draw money. The high yield savings, I say use that for long-term savings. I'm not talking about investing. I'm just talking about saving. So for your 12 months, your three to 12 months of living expenses, part that money, let that money gain some interest, okay? For your um, freedom fund, if you plan on leaving your job or if there's something big that you wanna do in life, park it over there and let it gain that 5%. There are no penalties um, for you withdrawing the money versus if you would keep that money in like a money market account or possibly um, an investment account, there may be some type of penalties involved. With your traditional savings account, I say you can actually use those for immediate emergencies. So what are immediate, immediate emergencies that you want to use a traditional account for? A tire blowout. Maybe you have some, un, uh, there's an unexpe uh, unexpected car repair that you need to uh, have done right away. Your child expenses, um, something comes up for the child and they let you know at the last minute. Uh, that's kind of an emergency, but with kids, everything is an emergency with them, okay? What else would you use a traditional savings account for? I say you can use it for last minute expenses. If you watch Good Steward Budget Thursdays, you understand that I had an expense that doubled. And so I'm glad that the money was available that I can pull from it and pay the additional amount. Uh, let's see, vacation. If you know you're coming um, you're you're going to go on vacation, put that money in your traditional savings account. Um, of course, that's not long term unless you're planning a vacation three years from now. But if you're going on vacation this year, part that money over there in the traditional savings account. Christmas. I created the very first video on how to prepare for the upcoming Christmas season. You can park all of your Christmas um, gift fund. Your uh, If you're preparing dinner or you're taking a dish, you can move that money over into a savings account. Um, just anything around the holidays, you can go ahead and stash that money away in your traditional savings. You have a birthday celebration coming up. You know you want to turn up. I suggest you start putting that money to the side. Put it over there in that traditional account. Weddings, events that you know, any celebrations that's coming this year, you know you have to buy a gift or you want to look fly, you want to buy something to wear, man, park that money, put it into a traditional savings account because um, you can pretty much grab it at any time. It's at your fingertips just like that versus the high yield savings account. Uh, that takes about 24 to 48 hours to transfer into your normal checking account if you do not have a debit card. So for, to me, having the debit card for that HYSA is not necessary because I have the traditional savings account debit card that's attached to my traditional 
checking account. So for the HYSA, listen, you're not looking to touch that money unless it is in dire need. What's that dire need? God forbid you're laid off your job and you need to handle your household expenses. You've parked that money there and hopefully you've got a pretty, a pretty coin added on to the money that you have saved. Your freedom fund, um, just something that you want to do. You're opening up a business or let's just say you want some renovations done to the house within the next two or three years. You park that money over there. So it's going to take you about 24 to 48 business hours for it to be transferred into that account. So while that money is parked over there, it is gaining some really good interest versus the traditional savings. So again, with the traditional savings, you can use that for immediate emergencies. Now, how much do you want to keep in that? That's pretty much to, up to you. With me, I just look at, okay, what if something happens? I can get my hands on this money right away. So it's not a big, a large lump sum as it is in the HYSA. The HYSA is just over there chilling, gaining its big interest. So definitely do your research on both of the accounts. I do encourage you to have both. You have short-term savings and you have long-term savings. And look at, you know, if you already have a traditional savings account, go ahead, do the research on the HYSA. And I know that you'll like the interest rates that are out there and the banks are reputable, okay? So I hope that I've given you information about, um, some good information about the difference between the two. If you want to... Um, if you want to have a coaching consultation with me, um, you're ready to get free of your money troubles, go ahead and click the link in the uh, in the <laughs> click the link below and schedule your consultation call. Um, listen, I am I am ready to work with you. I'm so excited because I'm working with um, clients who are now seeing a new change in their financial lifestyle and i want you to to be able to see that change for the better all right let's see i don't think i have anything coming up oh be on the lookout i'm a part of an awesome team the financial the fantastic financial four and so we do workshops around the metro areas of atlanta so if you're in the atlanta area stay tuned make sure you follow me on instagram and you'll see um, all of the events that we have coming up including classes and workshops and i believe that is it mm, stay tuned I think I will be releasing my next Financial Peace University class uh, in April. As you know, I am a Dave Ramsey uh, Financial Peace University coordinator. So I host the class through my church. And if you're looking to be a part of the next class, definitely stay tuned and I will release that information to you. All right. All right, good steward, know that our scripture that we stand on is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse number 2. God expects us to be faithful stewards, all right? All right, good steward, I love you. Thank you for checking out this video. Have a fantastic weekend. <sighs> love you guys. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. To all of my new subscribers, I'm so thankful that you are joining the to be a the good steward excuse me the good steward family all right family see you on the next video